I did it. I finally passed my structural engineering licensing exams and I'm more relieved than anything because I've just been studying for the past two years and just encountering failure after failure after failure until I finally passed. And today I wanted to talk about success, viewing it as an iceberg. Because once you tell everyone you pass, congrats, you pass, but that's all everyone ever sees is your success. No one sees what's underneath the iceberg, the majority of the iceberg, where you had to overcome all of your failures, all of your struggles, all of the lessons learned, and where the majority of your growth comes from. So if you're an engineer and you didn't pass your first time, which the majority of you didn't, because if you're taking the PE exam, 50% of you pass, and if you're taking the SE exam, probably only about 25% of you passed. So if you're going through that tough journey, like I was, uh, I know, I know it sucks. Putting in the hundreds of study hours after your full-time work, when you're already exhausted, giving up time with family, with friends, giving up your hobbies and the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars that you're spending on study resources, and essentially just putting your life on hold for months at a time. Then you finally take your test, but then you get your results and you get the dreaded unacceptable result. You didn't pass. You're gonna feel the disappointment, the despair, the embarrassment of that. Do you even wanna tell your, your friends, your family, your coworkers? You're gonna have those thoughts going through your head. Does that make me look stupid? Am I a good engineer? Can I even do this? Am I smart enough to do this? Should I just give up? It's too hard. You're going to have to fight through all of those thoughts, pick yourself up, learn and get better on what you can do next time. And then you go through the whole process again. And if you were anything like me, you're gonna have to go through that process again and again and again. I failed the SE exam three times before I finally passed. And if you're going through that journey right now, it may feel like wasted time. There's a lot of frustration building up and you just wanna pass your test. And for me, looking back at that, it's not wasted. Learning how to overcome those demoralizing thoughts building that mental fortitude, that mental toughness, the self-doubt that almost all engineers go through, and all the lessons that you learn going through that, I think that is what's worth celebrating, the stuff underneath the iceberg. Because those are the things that you can take with you throughout your career, on your next project, and hopefully help the next generation of engineers going through those same things that you went through. Learning not to put all of your self-worth into these exams because a lot of these tests aren't really practical. Most of the topics you're probably never gonna use or are currently using at your current work. And we're all busy. I'm sure you have better things to do than study for hours on end after work. And some of the smartest, most experienced engineers that I know, if you talk to them, a lot of them have take, had to retake these tests multiple times as well. But you wouldn't know that unless you talk to them because success, all you see is the iceberg. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.